Argent, and we're here to introduce to you the Virtual Human Advocate Platform. So what problem are we addressing? An absolutely huge national issue as the healthcare insurance industry transitions from fee-for-service to a value-based care model. What does this mean? It means that providers will now be paid based on outcomes rather than volume. It's going to require an incredible change in paradigm in the way that physicians and all health care providers interact with patients. Success of a value-based care program is predicated on patient-provider relationships, increased, increased patient participation in the shared decision-making process, and increased patient education and ongoing monitoring. It's going to require a patient to become more accountable for their outcomes of their own health care and therefore how their physician and provider are able to get reimbursed for the services provided. What's our solution? Metamergent AI. It is a, it is a responsive platform that provides 24-7 access to virtual human advocates and designed for always on-call patient engagement. On the screen right now, you see four virtual humans. They represent four of an array of 250 virtual humans that we have created so that every patient can select a virtual human that meets their preference by age, by sex, by race, by ethnicity, um, somebody that a patient can feel comfortable with um, talking to one another. What's our secret sauce? What keeps us competitive? Um, we are the first company using creative intelligence, what we call emotional intelligence, that is able to read patients' nonverbal behavior, nonverbal cue, their eye contact, their voice, their cadence, their emotion, um, their cognitive ability to understand what's being transmitted. And in addition to that, we can upload all types of real-world data from wearable devices and from biometric sensors. Let me show you what two of our virtual human platforms look like. The first one is focused on peripartum or postpartum depression, and the speaker before us talked about the incidence of depression in the United States. Um, on the screen, you can see on the top right corner, the woman in blue, she is your virtual human. The patient is um, the woman on the bottom box. Um, the virtual human is iterative. It's, it, she is allowed or he is allowed to engage in, in conversation that has continuity. So it's bi-directional. The virtual human asks a question, the patient responds, and then the virtual human takes cues and key words and responds to the questions. You can see that the patient can enter information both by voice and by typing in the information. There is a dashboard that allows the patient to repeat the information provided, go back and ask additional questions, or simply to click I understand that allows the conversation to proceed. And the box is our ability to share any type of content. The second model of the second virtual human platform, we are focusing on financial toxicity, specifically financial toxicity related to the cost of care for cancer patients. And an, a very emotional takeaway message for everybody in the audience is to know that 38% of all patients diagnosed with cancer will die in bankruptcy. They die in bankruptcy for their inability to understand their cost of care, their out-of-pocket expenses. And this virtual human educational program focuses on a cost calculator um, that allows patients to calculate a range of costs associated with specific healthcare delivery services. What's our accessible market for the virtual human? It is enormous. Um, today, the virtual human market is um, calculated about $24.8 billion, and it has a registered cargo at 44.7%. Our team, we're a group of really smart people. I am the co-principal co investigator of a nine-year research collaboration agreement with the FDA. Dr. Garrett was the managing partner of the second largest nephrology practice in the United States. K 
Ken Barrow discovered groundbreaking therapies as head of clinical research for Merck. And Brian James, well, he was that wonderful person who worked at MISIS and brought you that electronic medical record that all your physicians are focused on instead of talking to you directly. Who are our competitors? There are a number of AI-driven virtual human companies, but remember our secret sauce is we're the only virtual human company today that focuses on disease and treatment and integrates emotional intelligence, cognitive scoring, and facial recognition. Who are our customers? In addition to the Food and Drug Administration, we have pharmacies, we have large networks of provider practices, and we have pharmaceutical companies. What do we look like in terms of projections? Our five-year projections on revenue and EBITDA, it's about 140 million conservative with about an 80 to 85 million EBITDA. What is critical to know about Metamergent is that we are revenue producing. We have four digital platforms currently on the market and we are a profitable company. Our ask is three million for version one of the virtual human MVP. We have already raised to date 4.3 million and the use of the funds are obviously related to the build out of the peripartum depression and the financial toxicity um, uh, virtual human markets. Our pilot testing will occur first quarter, um, 2025. We are already in conversation with um, a major healthcare provider. We thank you for your time. We also have a table in the back and we welcome follow-up conversations. Thank you.